Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show how to create rest api in wordpress so you can create your rest apis according to your need and i am going to explain everything about the rest api in wordpress how you create it how you get it and everything about it so video is going to more interesting and before start i request you to subscribe my youtube channel so let's dive into so first of all this is my custom plugin and this is the header of the plugin and this is the error reporting i have disabled it and then our simple function rest api in it so this is the action used to create rest api in wordpress this is the built in action of wordpress and in this function we have to register some endpoints and we are going to use register rest rule to create the endpoints this is also the built in function of wordpress so in the first parameter of this function we have to pass endpoints and v1 and then name of the endpoint for example i am going to get orders and then the third parameter is the array in which we define the method for example get post or delete or anything else and then we have to give the callback function name for example get orders so if you go below i have created a function get orders so our api url will be like this i have created this one to explain you and in this function i am getting all orders of the wordpress and i am then returning it in a json format so let me show you how it works so i have created a variable of the arguments limit and return ids and then we have a query to get orders if order is greater than zero then i will return this response and if it is not then i will return this message error zero orders and then return it so i am not going to explain deeply about this function the main purpose is to explain how to create endpoints i am just going to copy it and upload into my website directly with the edit plugin update it then go back and copy this url and you have to search here so in my wordpress i have created a order and it is showing the order response just like i have written there everything order id store name shipping billing card tax total total quantity payment method and everything so this is just simple get method endpoint and now i am going to explain about the parameters you can give in your body or you can add in your url just minimize it and then minimize it also so this is the endpoint to get single order and here i have defined get this is the function name and this is the arguments and the validate callback is used to validate the endpoint url like this id so here you can see we have written is numeric it means the id parameter must be numeric if it is not numeric then it will return an error so let's try this one and this one and this one is the regular expression to get the id and now i am going to copy it and then just go back to this function and see what we are doing so here i am getting the id from the parameter and then i am getting the order with the order id and here we are also showing the response of the order just like in the previous function just minimize it and go back to this function copy this url just paste it so it will return an error because this is not our order id just return the order id like this so this order id is already created that's why it is not giving us the error so as you can see it is giving us the response of the order single order response and now i am going to show how to create post request endpoint so in the third endpoint i have created a post endpoint and this is the function name so here i am getting the parameter and username and password and it is returning if the user is registered or not so let me show you how it works so this is a post endpoint so we cannot hit on the url so we have to use postman just copy it first and then go there and paste it there so first of all it will return nothing and now we have to change with post send it is returning us the error because we do not define any parameter in the body so we have to select the json so in the body json we have to define like that and you can also authenticate according to your needs for example you can authenticate from the authorization api key barrier token and basic or everything you need you can also use the parameters like that one is equal to test and you can also authenticate from the body text html xml anything you want so just hit it and now it is giving us the invalid username error 
because our username is not registered but if i put the correct logins then it will return us the result the username is registered so now this way you can create your endpoints in wordpress and this is the restful apis and i have explained everything about the rest apis in the wordpress how you can get products how you can get orders and as well as you can authenticate so i hope this must be useful for you and finally thanks for watching